In this video, we'll cover approvals in DEX. You can set up automated approval flows for employee expenses and your cost items, ensuring your transactions are efficiently verified and approved based on a criteria you have predefined. To set up an approval, navigate to Business Settings and then Approvals. Under the Cost tab, you'll see any existing approval workflows and you can also create new workflows. To create a workflow, we'll need to click the Create Workflow button and give our workflow a name. So for this example, it will be anything over £200 will need approving. We have the option to add a description as well if we'd like to and next up we'll need to select what we'd like the approvals to apply to. So we can select the item type, so whether it's a cost item or an expense claim. Just a note, before you can set up expense approvals you will need to navigate to the expense claims tab and enable the expense approvals beforehand. So for this example we'll keep it as cost as the item type and then if we want to we can select document owners, the document type, category, suppliers and projects. But for this example, we're going to keep this as all. But if you did only want to approve travel documents, you might select the suppliers, so all of your travel suppliers, so that you're only approving those items. So once we've selected what to apply approvals to, it's time to take a look at who to assign the approvals to. You can have different stages of approval, so you can have a first stage approval and then go on to add a second stage of approval. So this means you can add multiple levels of checks to your approvals if needed. So you can select whether it's a specific user within the account that's approving the transactions or you can select a manager and for manager I'll show you how to set this up next and next up the conditions so we can have it as a manager or a user is always going to need to approve any amounts so any transaction that meets this criteria will go through for approval or we can set it for an amount so for this example because I want everything over 200 I'm just going to pop the 200 as the amount in there and I'm not going to add any more stages so next up by default switch work workflow on is toggled to yes. If at any point you wanted to change this and later down the line you didn't want this workflow on you could come back into the, your approvals and you can switch this off but we'll leave this on and you can also turn on auto publish once approved so that your documents are automatically sent to your accounting software and you don't need to go in and publish them once the documents have been approved and then when you're happy with everything click on save. So here we can see we've now got an approval flow in our list and we can go in and we can keep creating flows if we don't want it for all documents like I've done and you want it for specific things you can go in and really tailor that to your business. So I'm just going to click on back and head over to the users section and show you how to set up managers. So for each user that you'd like to go through an approval flow and use the manager option for you'll just need to click manage and then edit user details and then there is a manager drop down so you'll just need to select who you'd like the manager to be and then click on back and you'll need to do that for each user that will be using the flow. So I'll navigate back over to our cost inbox now and as we can see I have documents in my inbox already that I can request for approval. If I didn't then either myself or users in the account will need to upload documents using their preferred submission method and then edit the item in line with the business processes and then request approval once they're happy. So I've got two here so I'm gonna go through and check them. So here we can see the document image, we can see the invoice type, the supplier, due dates, the category, everything here. And if I'm happy with everything, I can click request approval. And then what that will do is go into the approvals inbox. And I'm just going to do the same with this one as well. So this is exactly the same. Go through, check everything. And if I'm happy, I can either click this request approval or the one down here. And as you can see, when I hover over, it does tell me which approvals workflow this relates to. And now what I'm going to do is go back over to the cost inbox and we can see here the approvals tab. We can see these two items are pending and the next approver is Bob Hill. So if you have multiple stages this will change once you've had that first layer of approval and you're going on to your second. So what I'm going to do is log out of my account and then log back in as Bob Hill. Um, you can see here I can approve these because I'm an admin user so if you're an admin user within the account and you have that user role you will be able to approve these but just for the sake of this I will log in as Bob Hill. Okay so I'm back and I'm logged in as Bob Hill so what I'm going to do is click in 
enter the first one and you'll see you get a really similar view as you did from the item details. The only difference is that we can't edit anything. So if we've gone through and we've checked it all, we're happy with everything, we can approve it. And if we're not, we can click on the reject. One thing to note as well is we do have a history tab here. So if the item does have multiple layers of approval, you'll be able to see everything that's happened on the document under the history tab. So what I'm going to do is approve one and reject the other. So what I'll do first is reject one. So if I click on reject, so what happens is this item will go back into the inbox. The user that submitted it for approval will get a email letting them know it's been rejected and we can add a note so that when they log back in and view the document, they'll know what they need to do to fix the document. And what that will do is come out of the approvals inbox so if I click back we can see that's come out of the approvals inbox and it will go back into the inbox ready for that user to fix what we've asked them to add in or what we've asked them to change. The next one again we can see the image and there's nothing for us here to edit. Again we can look at the history if we wanted to and for this one we said we're going to approve so you have two options when approving. If we click this little drop down we can either approve it with a comment or we can approve it with no comments so I'm just going to click approve and then that's it there's nothing in our approval queue now so that's everything gone so I'm just going to log back in as the admin user and then I'll be back Okay, so I'm back logged in as our original user. And as we can see here in our inbox, I do have a item with the status rejected. And when I hover over it, I can see that comment. But also if I click into the document itself, I can see the reason here. So what I'd need to do now is go in and add that description and then go back and request approval. And the last thing I'm going to cover will be the notification settings for approvals. So I've mentioned that you'll get an email. So for each step of the approvals process, you will receive an email either letting you know an item's been rejected, an item's been submitted for approval. So we can update the frequency to fit how your working needs are. So to do that, we'll go over to our name and click into user settings, click onto approval email notifications. And from here, we can update the frequency for emails around items that need approving, rejected items, and also items that have been edited. And for more information on anything to do with approvals, you can find it in our help center and you can reach it by clicking on the resources button and then how to articles.